Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you all are doing well in this COVID situation. So in today's video, we are going to paint this misty pines using two paints or two colors. Uh, I don't have actual painting with me right now. So I'm showing you this post of mine, which I have posted a few months back on my Instagram page. So you can check it out for your reference. Uh, for today's project, you are going to need 100% cotton, 300 GSM paper. Then you will need two colors. I am going to use pink and purple for this project. You can use any shades of your choice. Then you will need these three brushes, a flat brush, medium size round brush and a smaller size round brush. Masking tape. Few paper towels and two jars of clean water so gather all your art supplies and let's get started first I'm going to tape down my paper to the board so it won't get warped during uh, painting uh, also uh, this masking tape will give your painting nice clean edge so make sure you tape down your paper before you start painting so before starting our actual project let's see different techniques that we are going to use let's start with wet in wet technique for that apply an even coat of water on a small portion of the paper Now take some wet paint with your uh, smaller or medium size round brush and start applying it on the wet portion of the paper. So here the paint is wet and also uh, paper is wet. So this is wet in wet technique. We are going to use this technique to paint our background. next uh, we will see how to paint pine trees there are different ways to paint pine trees but i'm uh, going to use a very loose way to paint pine trees so first of all draw a straight line uh, with your smaller size round brush and start moving your brush tape from left to right like this and this way you can create the branches of the tree let's see again how i create pine trees first draw a straight line then start moving your brush tree from left to right to create this branches okay so this is the way we are going to use to paint our pine trees in today's project Also, in today's project, we are going to use different tonal values of our paint. Uh, so, I will show you how to achieve this tonal values. First, apply a darkest tone or uh, the concentrated paint and then clean your brush and take some water to tone down uh, your paint like this. So, uh, we will start with the lightest tonal value to paint our uh, background trees and uh, after that we will increase tonal values to the foreground trees like this okay so uh, these are all techniques we are going to use today for our project uh, Please practice it if you are new to the watercolors before you start an actual project. So first we are going to paint our background using wet in wet technique. For that apply an even coat of water with your flat or larger size round brush. 
so my paper is wet now i am going to apply a uh, purple or uh, with my flat brush and i'm using the lightest tonal value of the paint using a flat wash technique i'm going to paint this entire background so our background wash is done next i'm going to add few uh, background trees using the lightest tonal value of my paint and i'm keeping uh, this uh, brush strokes very loose and also this uh, wet background will help uh, to create this uh, faint tree lines which are uh, not very uh, definite in shape Uh, so here I am done with the one background tree layer and next I am going to add one more background tree layer using a one tone darker than the tonal value I have used previously. Uh, now uh, make sure you vary the heights of the tree to give it a more natural look and also try to use uh, paints alternatively like purple on pink and pink on purple like that so um, let's add one more uh, background layer before we uh, start to add our foreground trees So both our background tree layers are done. I have done uh, this background tree layers while my paper was still wet. Now we will wait for it to dry before we add the foreground tree layers. So my paper is dry now and uh, next I am going to add foreground tree layers. I am going to add uh, two foreground tree layers and for that I am gonna use uh, more darker tonal values than I used previously. Uh, so here I am using my paints directly from the pens. If you are not comfortable uh, doing so then uh, please uh, prepare your watercolor paints beforehand in your watercolor palette. And now uh, for foreground trees we are going to use more definite uh, brush strokes like this to paint our foreground trees.
So our first foreground tree layer is done. We are going to add uh, one more layer of the foreground trees and we will use the highest value of our paint for that. So now we are going to add our final foreground tree layer and for that we are going to use darkest tonal values of our paint and make sure your brush doesn't have much water in it uh, to get the concentrated paint now start adding final foreground trees using the finite brush strokes Increase the width of your brush strokes uh, when you're coming down to the end of the paper, like this. So our painting is ready, uh, we will wait for it to dry before we remove the tapes. Now my painting is completely dry and I am starting removing the tapes. Make sure your painting is completely dry before you remove the tapes and remove it at an angle so it doesn't tear off your paper. Uh, removing tape is the most exciting part for me and I just love how clean uh, looking edges it gives to my painting.
Thank you so much guys for watching this tutorial. If you have any question then please drop it in the comment section or you can always DM me on my Instagram page. My Instagram handle is alekha underscore art. Also if you like this video then please like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also be safe guys and stay at home. Thank you so much.